So, what's the recommendation? Well, obviously, the, the purest would be move to 8.0 on everything, right? On service request management, knowledge management, service level, obviously the core suite of products as well as Atrium and, and underlying AR. If you, though, happen to be on a 7.604 version, uh, as you can see over on the right-hand side of your screen, and today you mainly just want to take advantage of that great new slick interface that comes with SRM, you could install SRM 8 and still maintain your service desk change and asset in 7.604 as long as you were SP2. And if that's something you needed to do in an interim step, I think that would certainly be fine, but ultimately you're going to want to get to where, as, as you well know, everything is kind of consistent uh, as far as the release levels your own. But did want to point out that uh, since there's so many new features in SRM 8 that they did make provisions for you to at least uh, at least do that. You will still have to go to Atrium 8 and, uh, and AR 8, but if you want to leave your apps at 7604, that is, a, uh, that is an option. A couple of small things here. You know, one of the things that you did in 7604 is, uh, and why it's going to be easier to go to 8 is, you know, kind of force people to make that overlay model so that we, uh, you know, partitioned out your customizations into the overlay to make it easier to do these upgrades to 8 and all going forward. And so obviously the installers here are overlay aware of what you may have done back in 7604. Couple of little small things. They, you know, they went to the uh, to the uh, single stack installers. Remember back in 7604, and now they've combined a couple more of those installers into one. Again, just that as a matter of trying to lessen the amount of time and the and the new processes you have to launch yourself as part of a uh, of a new install. And then they've done a few things if you're going to migrate here with memory, uh, with uh, Remedy Migrator of being able to do some truncation and splitting files and so forth, probably deeper than we need to get to today, but be aware of those. And then here's just the version compatibility for ITSM 8.0 with the other, other products out there. Obviously, it will still work with 7603 dashboards and analytics if you've got it. Uh, you know, it still uh, will work with... Uh, you know, proactive net in these versions, and you get the idea. We can make this information available to you, and obviously it's uh, part of the release notes on uh, on the new ITSM 8.0 uh, environment there. So kind of in conclusion, what they felt like they have done with uh, version 8.0 is, you know, increase this user adoption by this new uh, UI integrated knowledge uh, incident improvals by those mobile apps that we talked about and uh, a more highly, at least out-of-the-box, email integration uh, that's there. They think they've improved on the IT productivity there with uh, the chat between staff members, uh, chat transcripts linked to ticket. Remember, if you started off with your virtual agent trying to do something, all of that's being captured. So if you eventually say, let me talk to a live agent, the live agent can see everything that you did with the uh, the virtual agent Twitter and RSS feeds, and then the great new service context of the underlying support of that particular uh, server. And then we ended up obviously talking about the increased enhancements of uh, and interoperability you're going to get from the new service process designer uh, for what you have there. And then last but not least, of course, the, uh, the new uh, data management tool for faster uh, data loading, some of the things like the multi-dimensional questions in SRM, uh, the new wiki-based docs, and so forth. So, you know, at a high level, that's kind of uh, what's there in the uh, in the new version. Uh, you know, I could I can pop over here real quickly and just kind of uh, uh, show you what it ca kind of looks like in real time. So this is actual uh, Remedy demo code. This is that page that we have the screenshots are where you know I'm seeing my popular articles. I'm seeing my popular requests. Here's my open issues that I have over here. You'll notice this keeps changing as it as it flows through the different ones. Here are my links here. If I go in and uh, and request something here, of course, it will then bring back both knowledge articles uh, that pertain to that particular request as well as uh, bringing back perhaps service catalog entries that might be addressed by whatever I typed in my uh, in my query bar uh, up here. So there are my knowledge articles around printing. Here are my service requests around printing and, and being able to see that. 
Then from the staff view, of course, this is where we took a look at seeing the new categorization and the task list right here. Again, this happens to be a, a incident form here. Uh, since I don't have BPPM in this environment, that little status isn't showing there, but had I had BPPM installed, it would show. But here is your service context launch menu there. So if you, uh, you know, if you go in and do that, that's what then brings up uh, the underlying, this happens to be a, uh, an email that we have here and would bring up the, uh, the underlying technology there. Uh, I've timed out here. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, uh, but that would bring it up similar to what I had shown you uh, on the other side there. 